Welcome. We have a very special episode of Throttle House today. We've flown a guest all the way over. Chris, I told you to wait until I introduce you to come in and they say, Chris, he's already on the thing. This is what happens guy. when English people go on holiday. They I, have to wear shorts. What's wrong with that? It's about, I know you can't dress warm. appropriately. This if, is... if you've got them, you've got to get them out. Look at those. Look at those little pins there. Aren't they delightful? <laughs> Anyhow, the reason I'm here today <laughs> is to promote my, not my nipple, collecting cars. Yeah, yeah pull that away. Okay, no it's just an auction site. Uh, which you need to get involved with ASAP. That's why I'm here. It's a holiday. I want to see the throttle house experience. I want to see the drag races, the bromance. You're in it. You're part of it now. Yeah, it's, it's happening. You have okay. a choice. But I'm no good at promoting. I forget about things. So I've got okay. to say this 10 times throughout the whole video. Ten if I don't say it, times. If I don't say it 10 times, we're done. We ten, can't use the video. 10 just, times. Just, okay. You want to knock one out right now? Yeah. Collecting cars. <laughs> All right, we'll put a counter up. Bing. First one done. And I'm sure you're going to integrate them in an elegant and, and, and fashion, right? It will be, it'll be seamless. Okay. Okay. Let's roll the logo. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. I'm not sure about their alignment either. I'm just going to see if I can pinch a foot there. They're also obsessed with themselves. These stickers are everywhere. It's like a personality cult. What is he talking about? It's like they're running a dictatorship. I don't... Get rid of that. No one wants that. What's he doing? I told him to say his name and I, now he's... I like to think I'm going to learn them, but I think I'm going to be embarrassed. But I couldn't care because I'm here promoting, collecting cars. There's, there's collecting cars that's happening again. Yeah, he's doing the collecting cars thing. Okay. Chris Harris, Top Gear presenter and tyre killer, may be representing collecting cars, but today we're all representing some of the last remaining new V8 sedans. I'm in the Lexus IS500, the closest we've got to a new fully fledged ISF, except now this is the most powerful IS ever. And I'm in the CT5V Blackwing, the last manual transmission supercharged V8 super sedan, 668 horsepower, rear wheel drive. It comes in auto as well, but I believe that Mark Twain said, when you can rip gears yourself, you rip gears yourself. Am I right? So for Chris, as our honored guest, and fresh off of the HMS England, we gave him the big one, a car that off the bat was quite confusing for him. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell. You ready for this thing? Sort of. Okay. Initial you... thoughts, it's got that Dodge smell. Yeah. It smells like unwashed parts of the human body to me. Does it smell like put oh, together really quickly? Yes. Okay. Okay, I've got some questions for you. Yeah. Um, we have had one of these on another program, mate, called Top Gear. Uh, but that's not collecting that? cars. It's, this is collecting cars this time, not Top Gear. Um, ding, ding. So we've, we've had one on. I didn't drive it at all. Right. It was naffing fast, but I don't remember the power output. What is it? It is, okay, so th this has a few, sh they stagger it so yeah. they can charge more. So this gets a V8 in the scat pack. The what? Scat pack. You're from my country. Yes. What does scat mean? I've assimilated and I let it go. Right. But it does mean poo. Right, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and then, and so then you, you can buy, translated for people across the pond, you can buy a Dodge poo pack. Poo pack. Poo pack. Poo. Poo pack. Yeah, poo pack. yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a naturally aspirated V8. And then you get to the supercharged stuff. So this is a Hellcat. So Sorry, there's a Hellcat, which is 717. Yeah. horsepower and then there's a red eye which is even more bonkers that's 797. the red eye let's go see it so the dodge charger hellcat wide body red eye that's what this is called no 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 hold this on is the get one ready can you get a pink eye uh, <laughs> actually i believe you can <laughs> now you can because <laughs> this <laughs> is the jailbreak so and you can customize the jailbreak yes yeah, so there's yes. a dodge charger hellcat red eye jailbreak wide body <laughs> <laughs> You're having me on. No, no that's, that's what it is. Oh, come so, on. Yeah. Where do they fit it all? You I can't see it, just says SRT. Yeah, right, no, so you, you have you... to know. If you know, you know, Chris. Apart from the extra 10 horsepower, which takes it to 807, which is one less than their King Demon. You know the Demon? Uh, yep. You know the Demon. You know, so allowed it has to be... to be one back. You can't be faster than the Demon. Exactly. That's not allowed. On non-race okay. non right. gas. Right. And then, so the jailbreak part is literally the same <laughs> as if you jailbreak your phone. It allows you to do whatever you want. So where once before you were limited, if you've got a certain color, you could only get a certain brake caliper colors. Yes. 
apparently taste is no object anymore. And you can get orange with blue calipers, with red Hellcat symbols and all I'm afraid you lost me at jailbreak, because that sounds like jailbait when you say it quickly. <laughs> so th there's nothing about the name of this How car quickly that's do you okay. Break? There is nothing <laughs> about the name of this car that's okay. I think we should get on a drag race. I've got no idea what I'm doing. And listen, I'm going to give you a sec It's really easy to launch on an unprepped surface. You'll be fine. Traction okay. control off. Off you go. It's going to... Snap Where's off the TC the line. button? I don't even know what it is. It, oh, it has, yeah, it has okay. such little Lads, faith. this is fine. You're young pups. I've been doing this for years. Get in your cars and watch how it's not done. Right, well, Sorry, watch how it's done. Yep. Collecting cars <laughs> is one of the best auction platforms ever, ever devised. Get in your car, Chris! Race. Now, normally, launching a Hellcat on our drag strip is a massive challenge. But this is our first time on our strip after it was freshly resurfaced. So grip levels, as I was about to find out, are much higher than I was used to. Okay, there's more to this video than just a drag race. And you know, even if there wasn't, this in a 100,000 mile race, which one wins? Am I right, comment section? I'm screwed. Let's give it a go. All in, no traction control, use my right foot. <laughs> Looking up, and I'm off. That was a great launch by everyone. How has that happened? We're in. We've done them. We've done them. Oh my God, the difference between 472 horsepower and 807. Well managed, monkey. Young pups. Young pups. Not bad though. Not bad, the Lexus. Seeing as it's tens of thousands of dollars cheaper. Now, do I give them a sort of dignified, don't worry, youth, you got outdone by experience there, or, or do I just give them a bit of chat? Did you, did you do the thing where you're really good at driving there? Is that what that did was? Did you lose? I lost very badly. I don't think we even suffered wheel spin, lads. So, yeah, so. <laughs> look, I told you this, and I, we talked about this last night. You treat the throttle paddle like the underside of your ball sack. It's a gentle area. It's a gen you, ju you just caress it. You don't pinch and roll no, it? No, 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 you caress it. It's all about manscaping. Right, let's go back and see if you can beat me. We lined the cars up for a rolling race to see if the naturally aspirated response of the Lexus or the lighter weight of the Blackwing could give us a chance to beat Chris. Caress the scrot. Caress the scrot. I can do this. Well, he stuffed me there. And he's flying off. But well, I've got it back on again. This has got so much grunt. Look how much power that car has. I can be slow and I still beat him. Again. Uh, the catch up on that jailbreak is legion. This is an absolute annihilation from the dog knob red dodge jailbreak MF. Listen, I was really hoping that your advancing years were going to slow you down, and I'm not sure that they have. In fairness, this is so fast. Yeah. I was in, the, I think I was in ninth gear or whatever it was. It kicked down, let you go, and it still beat you. <laughs> it it's just got so much power. It's, uh, how are you getting on in the, the little toy car? It's, it's Alcantara on the seats. Oh, nice. It's like, yeah. You've turned that to a gunfight with a stick of celery boss, haven't you? <laughs> 472 horsepower. This starter motor puts out more than that in this. <laughs> yeah, but this will last until we're both dead. Yeah, but so what? I've got, I've got fake carbon fibre. And I've got seats that are made of, it's certainly not leather. This has never seen an animal. Well, what we're going to do now is yeah. we're going to go to the racetrack. Oh, yes. And you're going to find out why that is more at home here than it is over there. Yeah, I think I, I can sense that coming. But can we just, I want to hear it from you two. Did you win or lose that? We lost the drag race. I was a support car. 
Lost, we lost the drag race. I'll leave you to think about that for a minute. Okay. We should have put him in the Lexus. I told you we should have put him in the Lexus. Now we're it's never going to hear about it. still bloody win. Never going to hear the end of this. Okay, the highest horsepower car won the drag race. But the reason we're celebrating the last of the V8s is not because of what they can do on a drag strip. Nowadays, an electric Kia can dust a BMW M2. No, we're here at the Throttle House test track because if all you do with these cars is put your foot down in a straight line, as fun as that is, you're missing out on absolutely everything else they have to offer. What do we think? Right, what have they done? Steering's good, it's positive, decent weight to it. Brake pedal's firm, she's a big old girl though. And what's quite consistent is this feel that the rear axle isn't that well located. It just feels that there's a bit of rubber bushing, everything's swilling about back there. You might refer to it as the car's junk. The car feels firm, but it's a mismatch because the tire's not right. It's really quite a, it's quite a sort of unspecial tire. And um, in that respect, the suspension feels nice and, and flat. It's a good platform, but the tyre's not really helping it. But the traction's better than you'd think because you don't ask too much of the car. You just get on it. We had one of these, or a slightly lesser version, on Top Gear a while ago, and I just didn't have the chance to, to spend any time in it, really. But you know what? As a, as a European, there's something just mad, bad and silly about this that just fits with what I expect from a car from North America. I think it's really, really charming in its own slightly crude way. Brakes are good, it's holding up nicely. Do you know what? This is much better than it has any right to be, really. I mean, the, the, res resisting the temptation to do that is a bit much, and I'm going to just cut these rears if I carry on doing that. But. Yeah. You know, it's not as crude as I thought it would be. It's utterly ridiculous. I mean, it's a ridiculous car. That's the best way to describe it. It is a ridiculous motor vehicle. I'm jolly glad it exists. Now, when we reviewed this car on the road, we actually really liked it. But what we had trouble with was getting our head around the price tag because for the performance, it seemed quite expensive. But today, this is the bargain. This is the more affordable car. And OK, it's not supercharged, but it is super. litre naturally aspirated V8, 472 horsepower. The 5 litre V8 in this is so wonderful and caramel. It just builds power and has such a lovely tone to it. It's not all encompassing. There isn't a scream like the Dodge from the supercharger, but it's just composed. And that soft ride on this surface is really paying dividends because Without it, I'd be all over the place. This is not a track car. But what we find is with this recipe of rear wheel drive, wonderful sound and pretty good power, four and a half seconds to 60 or whatever it is, it works on the track. I know the two of them think it's so impressive if a car can get sideways, but it's just a simple formula these days. We're just so used to... used to cars babying us. But yeah, an IS500 can do it. Although slightly different personality to those two, because this is flashing at me. VSC's turned off, traction control's turned off. But the rest of the car is saying. Do it. Simple for you. 
this is the best car here. This is the best car here by a large, large margin. Rear wheel drive, four doors, supercharged V8, and a manual transmission. I, I'm done, I can end there. Honestly, what more do you need? These don't exist. These just don't exist anymore. It's not quite as sharp as a Camaro, but it's sharp enough that it's still a genuinely good driving experience and a comfortable everyday sedan. I honestly don't know what more you need than this. The transmission is amazing. The front end grip is incredible. The steering, amazing feedback and absurd power on the straightaway. Oh, honestly. This is one of the greatest sports sedans ever made. As much fun as I was having enjoying the precision of the Blackwing, I noticed that on the other side of the track, Chris Harris started being Chris Harris. So we all joined in. collecting cars. Auction sign. Now, as usual, at the beginning of the day, I set lap times in each car. However, since we hadn't had a chance to get the track cleaned as we usually do at the beginning of the season, the lap times were so far off where they should be on the leaderboard that there's no point in sharing them. However, we can tell you that of the three, the Blackwing was the real track car here, and it was easily the fastest followed by the jailbreak, which despite being on the all-season option was still able to use its brute force to beat the much lighter Lexus, which honestly is an impressive car around the track, even if it did cook its brakes in one lap. However, the Black Wings win didn't stop Chris from picking his favorite. I'm an advocate for this because this is, there will be no more cars like this in the future. Unless okay. they keep di doing different, the Alcatraz, well, that's the, thing. the, so you, you say the that, Colditz, they, and all the other, I mean, however other versions they want to do. They keep releasing them, so. This, <laughs> but this is just insanity on wheels. And you're, you're managing it in a straight line. Yep. I've had a little go in that. I think it's gorgeous. And for, some, for something that big, to have a manual gear shift, brilliant. It's like yep. a modern Lotus Carlton, that for me. That's a, yep. And I can't give any higher praise than that. And that Lexus... All the comments are saying it doesn't belong to here. It, it absolutely belongs here. It should be here. It's a screamer. It feels tight. It's it's better and faster than an ISF. Yeah. No, it's a great car. I honestly really love this thing. But this, for me, just it is one of the best cars I've driven this year. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So would you have that on M5 CS? Oh, God, don't do that. That's a tough question. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, for me, this is always between this and the E63S. The M5 CS kind of takes everything up a notch. I think I'd still take an M5 CS. But if you I say didn't already have a manual in my life. If correct I, answer. There you you save 60 grand though by getting this. So That's a huge delta in but price. But do you really? You, no, you do. Yeah. No one cares about the money. This is about, <laughs> this is about, it's, about it's, it's something a month. It's all about something wanting, a month. whether you really want it. It's a great looking car. I just, I, if you'd said to me 10 years ago, Cadillac would be making a car like that, I wouldn't believe you. I agree. You, you, don't, you don't get any of these in Old Blighty? No, we don't. And it's a shame because people would love that. It's a great car. Well, Chris, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thanks for It's coming. nice yeah. to know that the old industry is in yeah. safe hands. I don't think you oh. hit 10 collecting cars, did you? Oh, sugar. Collecting cars and collecting cars in association with the Throttle House and collecting cars. Thanks for watching. Okay, Chris, I'll give you another one. Collecting cars. There we go. 
So, that was a day, drifting endangered car species with Chris Harris in the sunshine. A pretty special way to start out the track season, and something that couldn't possibly have happened without the help from all the amazing people involved on the day, and also to Michelin Canada for replacing tyres. And don't worry, we haven't seen the last of Chris on Throttle House. With that, and all the other insane stuff we have lined up, it's going to be quite the summer. Stay tuned.